Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Jordan here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Now, if I do sound quiet, I do apologize. My parents are asleep. It's very late and I'm trying, I needed to get a video out. So I need to make this video. I need to edit it before I go to school tomorrow. So yeah, basically what we're going to do, we're going to be doing the top five players that I believe should be in NBA Live Mobile. So let's get straight into it. Coming in at number five, we have got Robert Parrish from the Celtics playing along with this boy. I mean, Larry Bird, Dennis Johnson. Dennis Johnson is not in the game, but he's not in the top five. Now, Robert Parrish, now man was like seven foot one. Man has like 17,000 rebounds. Don't quote me on any of these stats, guys. I'm not sure at all. But you guys, I do believe he should be in the game just because, I mean, he was a beast when he, he I mean, that dynamic duo with him and Larry Bird, that dynamic duo was unstoppable, boys. Coming in at number four, we have got Charles Barkley, the TV interviewer, NBA sports interviewer, whatever you want to call it. I'm not really sure what the professional name is, but I mean, think about it. It's Charles Barkley, the man, like 23,000 points in his career, I believe. Disclaimer, don't quote me, like I said again, but I do believe he had 23,000 points. I don't know how many rebounds ever, but I mean, the man is a, the man's a freaking TV interviewer at this point. I mean, give, give that man a card. At least give him, like, a 95 legend. Give him, like, a Larry Bird type card. All right, guys. So, coming in at number three, we have got the man that works with him, basically. We have got Reggie Miller. Now, also, guys, here's a quick disclaimer. Now, you guys are going to be seeing these customized cards on the screen right now. Now, I did make these guys. I swear to God, I did not steal them. It took me, like, two hours to make these cards. So, let me know down in the comments if you do like how they came out. I think they came out pretty sick. But, yeah, guys, back to it. Reggie Miller, I do. I'm pretty sure the man had like 28k points in his career. Again, don't quote me on that. I do think he did. And yeah, I mean, he's just like Charles Barkley. Like, think about this: if Charles Barkley gets a card, then Reggie Miller should get a card. Same thing with Reggie Miller. If he gets a card, then Barkley should get a card. And they were both so good. I mean, one played for the Suns, I believe. Barkley and Reggie played for the Pacers, and they were guys. I mean, they were so sick. I do apologize if I sound retarded right now. I'm so tired, guys. I do apologize, but let's move on to the top two of my two favorites. All right, guys, so coming in at number two, we have got one of the best dunkers of all time, Dr. J, Julius Irvin. Now, this man, honestly, guys, I don't know if it's because EA doesn't have the signage rights or the contract rights, but how is Dr. J not in the game? I mean, he should give him at least like a 97. This man was a glitch when he played. He dunked on everyone. He had a J. Dr. J had a J. He could dunk up people. I'm, I don't think he was really a three-point shooter, so that's probably his only down spot. He, actually, he probably won't be a 97 just because of his three-point rating. He'd probably, probably be in the 70s, which, I mean, let's be honest, it's pretty shit, but, I mean, it, it could be worse. But, yeah, guys, I believe he deserves a card. I mean, he's one of the best dunkers of all time. How can you not give Jock the J a, a card? All right, guys, so let's move into number one, who I 100% think should have a card. All right, guys, so Adam, we, we have got... A man who rhymes with Hakeem, we have got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the freaking like 7 foot 2, the man is still living right now, he's like 70 years old as I'm making this. I mean, let's be honest, how does Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, Magic Johnson have a card, which I mean, let's be honest, they do deserve a card, but you're going to tell me Kareem doesn't have a card? Now like I said, it might be signing rights. But, I mean, come on, yeah, you got to get the rights for Kareem. I mean, it's Kareem. The man had, like, 38,000 points in his career, for Christ's sake. And I believe, now, he had, like, 17,000 rebounds as well, which is ridiculous. I mean, the man's, like, ridiculous. I mean, he's gone through so much. Everyone gave him shit because everyone thought he was Muslim, so he thought he was, like, some type of terrorist. I don't know, some bullshit that everyone thought. But, yeah, guys, that's me for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. I do apologize for the audio if it sounds a little weird. Plus, I'm a little bit tired. I'm trying to get the vi this video out for you guys. Anyways, make sure to subscribe if you're new. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave me down, leave a comment down below if you guys do have any other players that you think that should be in the NBA. Not should be in the NBA, what I'm saying. I'm cheese. <laughs> God, Jesus. Let me know down below in the comments if there is a player that was in the NBA that deserves a card in the game that does not currently have a card. Alright guys, that's me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Alright guys, peace.